We've just entered quarter two of 2021. So if you haven't done a check-in on the goals you set at the beginning of the year, stick around as I'm gonna give you a framework for reviewing where you're currently at, what's working and what isn't, and the changes you need to make to ensure you're gonna hit those goals by the end of the year. Hey, it's Craig McLean here, and this is where I help small business owners and entrepreneurs grow and manage their business online. So let's jump right into it. So today we're not gonna focus on how to set goals, which I generally like to do using the SMART approach, but I'm gonna assume that you already have these goals defined, so we're gonna do an evaluation of those. Now, one big reason that people fail to meet their goals is that they aren't intentional about checking in on their progress. Today, we're talking about a quarterly check-in, but what about your monthly and your weekly progress reports? What about your daily to-do list, which should be centered around meeting your end goal? If you're not checking in on these goals on a regular basis, they're really nothing more than wishes. Remember, motivation should get you started, but it's not gonna keep you going. Discipline is gonna be your bridge from goals to accomplishment. So step number one is eliminate the unnecessary. Life changes rapidly as we gather new information, new experiences, new opportunities arise, or obstacles get in the way and shift our priorities. Maybe you're a little overly ambitious on what you could accomplish in 12 months, which is pretty common. Are those goals still aligned with the life you wanna live, the person you wanna be, the relationships you wanna build, and the work you wanna create? Take the time now to reevaluate and prioritize your goals. If they're now lower on the list and don't contribute directly to your end vision, it's time to scale them back or remove them completely. So step number two is to assess your progress on your high priority goals. So here are some questions you can ask yourself. Am I currently on track to meet or exceed the goal I've set for myself? If so, that's awesome. Now, is there anything I can do to take that to the next level without sacrificing progress on other high priority goals? If so, what changes to our actionable steps and roadmap need to be made to increase that output? So if you answered no to question number one, why not? Did you write them down in your notebook that hasn't been touched? Or did you not even write them down at all? Now is the time to course correct? Which leads us to step number three, create or revise your actionable steps. After you've reassessed your goals, it's time to divide them into milestones. And this is gonna give you that clear structure that's not gonna seem so overwhelming. More importantly, these mini goals are practical, actionable steps that you need to take to accomplish your objective. Make these daily or weekly action steps. Step number four is celebrate the wins. And it's something I'm super guilty of, but one of the pillars to happiness in this life is to take the time to show gratitude for where we're at and what we have. Take this time to celebrate the small wins on that path to your sought after destination. Step number five is critical and it's remember your why. And it's not always the case, but goal setting usually stems from pain points in your life. You're unhappy with your career, your relationship is struggling, you're in debt, you're not earning enough to give your kids the life you envisioned for them. Whatever it is, this is the core reason that you took the time to reflect on your current situation, to sit down, to put pen to paper, to list the goals and the action steps that you need to take in order to live the life you ultimately want to live. So that's all I've got for you guys today, but don't despair just yet. I do have a downloadable PDF of my goal check and worksheet. I'll put a link in the description below for you to download it for free. So I hope you found value in this video. And if you did, make sure to give a thumbs up, subscribe and turn on notifications below. And we'll see you guys in the next video.